Hey guys, it's Moy5, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool craft for your iPod, iPhone, camera, just your regular phone. So, um, yeah, and before we get started, I'm just going to say sorry for that, like, buzzing noise. One of my neighbors is outside, like, mowing their lawn and stuff, so yeah, please ignore that noise if you hear it. And, yeah, so what you'll need is an old sock. So I just have this one, and it's hot pink. You'll need a button of any type. I just have a few different buttons. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet. You will need some scissors. And also, for this part, you may need a parent's help or, um, like, an adult to help you because it does involve sewing. And if you do not know how to sew, um, it may be a little harder for you guys to do this project. You could try hot gluing it, but it might not look as good. So I just have this, like, hot pink thread. So, yeah. So first, what you're going to want to do is cut. So, um, like you can't see the heel of the sock. Oh, actually, before you do that, you're going to take your iPod or whatever you're using and measure it. So you should put it right above where the, like, heel is so then you can see if it's a good size. So I think this is a good size. So then we'll have room to fold down. You also want to make sure it has room to fold down like that. If it doesn't, you could try putting it down here and see how well that works. I think I'm just going to put it right here. Like right at the heel. Like this. And also make sure your sock is wide enough to fit the phone, iPod, or camera into it. So I think this is a pretty good size. I'm just going to cut right here on this line where the heel is. And then for now, you're going to just ignore the top. And then also if you need to, just make it a little straighter. Okay, so after you do that, um, you're going to take your sewing needle, and here is where the hard part comes in. You are going to start sewing. So just start at the edge, poke a little hole, and go through. Start like right at the edge. And don't go too far from the edge of the sock. Just go like that. So just pull it through. And then I'm going to be using the in-out method. So after you do that, you're just going to go, so that's in. And on the other side, you're going to go out. Make sure you don't, like, cross it over, because then that really messes it up. So just go like this and go out. So I'm just going to finish sewing through the whole thing. Then I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, hey guys. So I sewed the edge of the sock, as you can see. And I kind of messed up on the stitching right there. As you can see, there's like a little hoop right there that's not supposed to be there. But I'm, I'm not going to cut it off because I'm afraid it's going to mess up all the other stitches that I've done. But also, here is the end where I stopped. I just left a little bit of it out after I um, did the knot just in case it comes unraveled or something. So I could tie it back. So yeah, here it is. And now it's basically like a little pouch because it's like not open down here. So before we do anything else, let's just test it out and see if our device will fit in the sock. Okay. Okay, so my iPod is in here and it fits. So here comes the tricky part. Um, I really don't know how this is going to work yet. So, um, actually I do have an idea. So first you're going to Go like this and cut down the side. Make sure you don't like cut your iPod or anything. Which you probably won't. Just cut a little bit of the side. As you can see the pattern changes. So it's like that and then it's like that. So you're gonna cut until the pattern changes. Okay, so I decided to take my iPod out because I just didn't think it was safe because we're working with scissors and stuff. So, um, basically this is how it should look. So, what you're going to do is take one flap like this and just cut it off. Make sure it is straight.
Okay, so instead of just cutting the flap, I ended up cutting a little bit more of the sock. So it looks like this, and when you fold it down, there should at least be that much that's down. So now we are going to put in your device again, but this time I'm just going to take off the case, so it's just a little faster. Okay. So now it should be like this. And then you're going to fold it over and take one of your buttons, and without doing anything, just decide where you want to put your button. You would actually have to put it down here. But then you're going to want to fold it over and see where it would be on here. Okay, so I'm going to do mine right there. Right here. So I'm just going to take a marker and do a little mark so I know where it's going to be. So it will be like this. So then it is time for more sewing. So I'm just going to take my iPod out and then you're going to want to sew this button to the sock. Hey guys, it's Snow White 5. I'm back and so I did sew on the button and it is on now. But I am kind of mad because with the black Sharpie you can see it because um, the button is clear so you can see it right there. So that is kind of like upsetting but um, yeah so here it is. And now, so you're probably wondering how the button works. So what you're going to do is go like this and like fold it over and see where you should cut a little slit in right there. So then your button could go in. So I'm going to just do mine just a little tiny slit and see if it works. So yeah, mine is really small. Okay, so I'm just going to try sticking it in. And here it is. So it fits in the little slit I cut. Make sure the little slit that you cut is like really small because um, like mine is super duper small and it went in. So if you do it too big, it might not like go in. Like it will go in, but it will like, it will just slip out and stuff. So yeah, I just cut off a little bit of extra. And so now I'm gonna test it by putting my iPod in the pouch. So I'm just going to unbutton it and then I'm going to slip my iPod in and then I'm going to button it. Hold on, let me just cut a little piece right there. Okay, so here is what it looks like. I really like how it turned out. I've actually never made this before, but I honestly love it. Like, this is just so amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm like freaking out. But I never actually thought that I would be able to make this because um, of the sewing and stuff and the buttons. But I actually, I actually got it. Yeah, I don't really know what I was going to say. Um, I actually got this idea from Pinterest. So, yeah. And it didn't even have any like steps on how to do it. I just saw the picture and I decided to do it. So, yeah, I really hope you did this. And um, if you did, I... um really recommend that you do a video of it and personal mes message it to me or um, post it as a video response. So that is my little pouch for my iPod Touch and I hope you like this. Bye guys!